I have traveled long to find my way. Know my rights and make them known to all. My struggle has been for freedom from slavery and an abject existence towards equal rights. I have fought against laws that discriminate towards women and resisted harmful customs. Miri awaz, miri shahar ki awaz hai. Miri awaz, miri nasl ki awaz hai. Miri awaz ki baas gasht, nasl dar nasl sunoge. क्या समझ के तुम मेरी आवाज को शोर का नाम दे रहे हो क्या किस मृत्य पर मेरी अंदाज तखातुब को मजूनाना कह रहे हो किस सोम पे तुम बढ़ते हुए तूफानों को नजर का धोखा कह रहे हो मैं पैंबर नहीं हूं मैं तो बस आज को आंखें खोल के देख रही हूं तुम्हारी पेशाना रौनतों की बू पैसे की हवस की शक्ल में फैल रही है तुम लेमोजीन की पिछली सीट पर नीम दराज हो ताकि शीशों से झांकती गुर्बत की सख्त धूप तुम्हारे सर्जरी शुदा चेहरे के मस्क न करते तुम्हें तकरीरों के नंबर अब तो असबर हो गए होंगे तकरीर नंबर दस गरीबों को जगाने की आवाज है तकरीर नंबर पंद्रह औरतों में शूर बेदार करने की आवाज़ है और तकरीर नंबर सत्ताईस अदीबों और दानश्वरों को मशवरा देने की आवाज़ है आवाज 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 बुल किसे कहते हैं बेहगम आवाजों के शोर को कि बेरब तकरीरों के तमवुज को पत्थर लुढ़क रहे हैं सहरा में पत्थर फेंको तो रेत में आवाज दब जाती है लेकिन मेरी आवाज पत्थर नहीं है बिजली है जिसकी चमक के बाद गरज का शोर सब सुना करते हैं तेज गरज हो तो कानों पे हाथ रख लेते हैं लेकिन इस तरह तूफान रुक नहीं जाया करते मौसम का हाल पढ़ के मौसम के बारे में तकरीर करने वाले गली में बहती नालियों को देखने कब आएंगे शजरकारी के दिनों में इनकलाब का पौधा लगा देने से इनकलाब का जंगल उगा नहीं करता है लाल रंग दो आने में ढेर सा आ जाता है मगर दो आने के रंग में रंगे दुपट्टों से इनकलाब नहीं आता है inequality for women and peripheral social classes unfair treatment and discriminatory society politics culture and relationships are all supported by an equally unjust law there must be new legislation on women's issues i want my share in inheritance i want to go to school to what is my basic human right I do not want to be forced into marriage. Do not use me to settle disputes. Do not take my life in the name of honor. I stand against domestic violence. In recent times, progress has been made by introducing new legislation. A bill against honor killing was passed in 2005. According to this law, honor killing of women is declared as a crime. A punishment of sentence to death or a maximum of 25 years of imprisonment can be given to the killer. There are still many flaws in this law which need to be fixed. In 2006, the parliament approved the law for protection of women according to this law rape was introduced again in pakistan penal code as a crime 
And now this crime can be proved with any circumstantial evidences or witness in the court of law. The National Assembly approved the bill to protect women from harassment at workplace in 2010. As per this law, all businesses or departments, including government departments, are bound to give protection to women against sexual harassment at workplace. Print the code of conduct in local as well as English language and display it in offices. If the three-member committee in the office fails to give justice to the complainant, then she has the right to take the issue to the Federal Ombudswoman for Protection Against Harassment of Women at Workplace. The Parliament approved another law for protection against sexual harassment at workplace in which, according to Section 509 in Pakistan Penal Code, if someone disrespects a woman's personal space, say or act indecently or display, will be considered as a criminal. If someone makes a sexual advancement, asks for a sexual relationship, writes or says or physically displays sexual behavior, will be imprisoned for three years or a fine of 500,000 rupees or both. The National Assembly approved the Act for Prevention of Anti-Women Practices Amendment in Pakistan Penal Code in 2011. This law gives women the right of inheritance. Other than that, this law protects women from forced marriages, marriages with Quran, and giving away females in Wani or Sawara. Session court and first-class magistrates can hear such cases. According to this law, three to seven years of imprisonment or 500,000 cash fine can be enforced for giving away females in Badale Sula, Wani, or Suara. Three to ten years of imprisonment or 500,000 cash fine or both for marrying with Quran. Five to ten years of imprisonment or 100,000 cash fine or both for not giving the right of inheritance. The Parliament passed the law against acid crimes, throwing of acid on women, Second Amendment, in 2011. According to the Pakistan Penal Code Articles 332, 336A and 336B, it is a crime to deliberately harm or physically damage anyone using any kind of poisonous material, acid, poison, blasting material, arsenic, or through any other chemical material which can be dangerous for human body. According to this law, damaging anyone's body or a body part including face, using such materials, is a crime and can be imprisoned for life or at least 14 years and can be fined a minimum of 1 million rupees. In 2012, the Parliament approved the law to make National Commission on Status of Women an autonomous body and gave more powers to this commission. On the 8th of March 2013, Sindh Provincial Assembly passed the law to stop domestic violence against women. A similar bill to stop domestic violence against women is pending in the National Assembly for the last 10 years. खुली आंखों से देख रही हूं मैं तो बस आज को खुली आंखों से देख रही हूं If we have made laws to safeguard women and protect their rights then our state government courts and law enforcement bodies 
and every citizen has a responsibility to ensure that these laws are enforced and acted upon.